viewers in this session we will discuss about open educational resources that is oer friends from childhood we heard one riddle or we can call it as a question and that question is what is it that does not get reduced after sharing with someone else and the answer is knowledge so the knowledge is that one thing which does not get reduced after sharing with someone so friends oer is one of the examples of that non reducible knowledge let's see what is oer open educational resources are materials offered freely and openly to use and adapt for teaching learning development and research in another word we can say it as open educational resources are teaching and learning materials that are freely available online for everyone to use whether you are an instructor student or self learner now friends where these oer are available there is one storehouse of such oer from which we can use it and that domain is www.oercommons.org we will see this web page later in details now examples of oer open educational resources can be articles books like textbooks literature research books audio clips such as podcasts recordings and audio books it consists of images like art graphs and photographs oer can be videos like films mini lectures and documentaries oer also consist of software and digital tools like programs video games and simulations and other applications friends next and the important point which we understand is open educational licensing under the heading 5r permissions of oer it is about open license used to share educational material the material which comes under oer can be reuse revise remix redistribute retain by the users depending upon which type of license is given to that particular oer now we will see or understand the meaning of these five words or five rs the first terminology is retain it is nothing but a right to make own and control copies of the content for example download duplicate store and manage reuse is the right to use the content in a wide range of ways for example in a class we can use that in a study group or on a website or in the form of video we can reuse that material third aspect is revise it is a right to adapt adjust modify and or alter the content itself for example translate 
the content into another language that is revise next aspect is remix it is a right to combine the original or revised content with other open content to create something new for example incorporate the content into a mashup that is called remix the fifth r is about redistribute it is the right to share copies of the original content your revisions or your remixes with others for example give a copy of content to a friend so these are the 5 r permissions about oer and those 5 r's corresponds to retain reuse revise remix and redistribute now from here onwards we will see what is creative common licensing so friends what is creative commons creative common is a non profit organization that enables the sharing and use of creativity and knowledge through free legal tools here i will explain it in vernacular language suppose friends aapke paas koi powerpoint presentation or word file or some other document is with you agar wo document aapne banaya hai and agar wo abhi aapke system mein present hai aapko usko abhi launch karna hai under oer but before launching that as a oer aapko audience ko batana hoga ki aap ye jo content unko use karne ke liye de rahe hain wo uska kis hisab se use kar sakte hain aap unko kis tarike ke rights de rahe hain matlab wo audience aapka jo content hai usko retain rakhenge रिवाइज कर सकते हैं रीडिस्ट्रीब्यूट कर सकते हैं रीमिक्स कर सकते हैं या आप उन्हें बताएंगे बाय गिविंग दिस क्रिएटिव कॉमन लाइसेंस सो दिज आर द टू डिफरेंट पार्ट वन इज ओ आर अनादर वन इज क्रिएटिव कॉमन्स आपका मटेरियल ओ आर में जाएगा उसके पहले आप उस अपने मटेरियल को क्रिएटिव कॉमन का लाइसेंस असाइन करेंगे तो क्रिएटिव कॉमन का लाइसेंस देने का काम और सीसी लाइसेंस देने का काम ये ऑर्गेनाइजेशन करता है एंड दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज कॉल्ड एज क्रिएटिव कॉमन्स सो क्रिएटिव कॉमन्स इज अ नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट एनेबल्स द शेयरिंग एंड यूज ऑफ क्रिएटिविटी एंड नॉलेज थ्रू फ्री लीगल टूल्स नाउ वी विल अंडरस्टैंड लाइसेंसिंग what is cc that is creative commons and creative common licensing creative common licenses allow content creators that means we people jo content bana rahe hai to openly declare the level of sharing that is allowed with their work agar maine koi content banaya hai so i am the content creator and the owner of that work agar mujhe wo work aap logo se share karna hai under the heading open educational resource to main mere document ko pehle ye license assign karungi wo license kis type ka rahega wo mujhe decide karna hai ki mujhe aap logon ko pura document free mein dena hai वो डॉक्यूमेंट आप लोग रीयूज रीमिक्स रीडिस्ट्रीब्यूट क्या कर सकते हैं वो मैं ये लाइसेंस के थ्रू आप लोगों को बताऊंगी एंड इन दैट वे द ऑडियंस कैन यूज योर वर्क एज ओ आर बट विथ फ्यू रेस्ट्रिक्शंस विच टाइप ऑफ रेस्ट्रिक्शंस विल बी दैट डिपेंड अपॉन विच टाइप ऑफ लाइसेंस यू आर गिविंग टू यूर ओपन एजुकेशनल रिसोर्स सो दैट इज अबाउट 
क्रिएटिव कॉमन्स क्या है और क्रिएटिव कॉमन लाइसेंस क्या होते हैं देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लाइसेंस डिपेंडिंग अपॉन यूर नीड यू कैन गिव एनी वन ऑफ द टाइप ऑफ सी सी लाइसेंस टू योर वर्क दो लाइसेंस वी विल स्टडी इन फर्दर स्लाइड्स नाउ फ्रेंड्स बिफोर मूविंग टू टाइप्स ऑफ सी सी लाइसेंस यू शुड नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज इमेजेस और क्रिडेंशियल्स you are very much familiar with this symbol this symbol represents copyright ek circle ke andar c bana hua hai this symbol represents copyright this copyright means all rights are reserved to the owner or a creator if i have created one document and giving this copyright symbol to that document and all the rights at that time all the rights are reserved to me fine and if somebody wants to use this document which i have created then that person seeks permission to use it and sometimes we have to pay the money to buy that document so we are very much familiar with this copyrighted material or copyright symbol versus this is creative commons let's see now this symbol it stands for creative commons this license allow creator means we people or the owner of that document who wants to share their work in a legal way to define exactly what kind of sharing is allowed again let's take the example that you have created one ppt and you want to share it with the people or you want to add that work under oer then first you have to give cc license means you will give permission to viewer that up to what extent they can use your work means whether they can retain reuse remix redistribute it or not so these things we can clarify by giving cc license to your document so this is a basic difference between this c that is copyright all the rights are reserved to the owner and creative commons that means some of the rights are with the owner and some are with the viewer or the audience that depends upon a type of cc license got it now creative common licensing is a legally valid and accepted form of licensing and it, it and is meant to work in conjunction with and support all right reserved rights now to move further another aspect we will see here so right now in previous slide we have seen this copyright symbol in which all rights are reserved then the middle part is our creative commons some rights are reserved and now if this symbol will appear somewhere that means copyright symbol is there but it is slashed cut symbol is there this symbol represents public domain that means if your work you are publishing under this public domain that represents no rights are reserved may be used without your permission so friend these are the two extreme entities it is completely open if you if somebody wants to use your work then there is no need to take your permission because your document is in public domain anyone can use it without your permission at any extent he or she can use it another extreme end is copyright 
all rights are reserved if somebody wants to use it they have to take the permission these are the two extreme ends